forward. Okay, so just we've got the superposition adding the waves here and using the fraction to create um, uh, two sources of curved waves. We're going to have um, one set of waves coming in. Okay, there's the direction that they're traveling. And we're going to have something called a It's a barrier that's got two gaps. And because it's got two gaps, it's going to create two sources of curved waves. Okay, so don't worry exactly about what happens in between the gaps here. But what's going to come out of the gaps um, is uh, Yeah, just bear with me for the moment. They won't be exactly curved like this, but for the purposes of drawing this, it's helpful to see. So this is the source number one. Now I'll call that one there. And source number two. And we actually call this two, there's two of them, point source, because they both come from a point, a uh, single point. Um, especially sound waves or, or light waves, we're going to show you those two. But two point source interference. So that's the official title. Um, now we'll do one more wave front switching up from here. And you can see how it's getting tricky to draw already. Um, these solid lines show the wave crests, but we can also have wave troughs in a dotted line. So the troughs are the lower part, and now we have to draw the same thing, but for the second point source down here. So this is going to get messy. Okay, can you see how this is getting very tricky? Okay, my drawing is a bit terrible. But now we've got to draw, draw the dotted lines again. That's, that's going to be enough. Looks kind of pretty. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, let's go for green. Now, there's going to be some interesting things coming out of it as a result of this interference, which is occurring. Whenever a peak meets a peak, um, we'll start in the middle here. These are two peaks meeting. These are two peaks meeting. These are two peaks meeting. Um, but we've also got a point where two troughs are meeting. Two troughs are meeting. And two troughs are meeting. And that creates a line of what we would call constructive interference. So where the superposition is added. And we can draw, join this out there and call it uh, uh, something. We call it an anti nodal. Line. Now, a node is a fixed point. This is the opposite of a fixed point because it's maximum amplitude. So it's the, it's the other end of the scale from a fixed point, which is flat or zero or uh, fixed. Uh, if we look at uh, a couple of parts for here, we can see there's another antinodal line here. And then another one. Oops, I missed that dot. Passing through. Yeah. So the green ones are antinodal lines. We can also have greens and blue. Hopefully that'll show up clear enough. For um, nodal lines, which is where a crest, the peak, is meeting a trough and they cancel out. So the superposition is subtracting, if you like. Um, so that would be a point here where a dotted line crosses over a uh, solid line. There's another one there, another one there. Crazy stuff going on outside. Um, and if we join that up, this is our nodal line. And we've got another one here.
Hillcrest High School 90210 is what I used to call it. <laughs> because of all the dramas that yeah. But that's more of a thing. So you'll see this pattern of nodal lines and antinodal lines um, continuing in each direction. Um, so that they just Now, uh, if you were to observe this, say you were on a, a, a what are they called, kayak, and, you're, and these were rocks in a stream or a river or a sea or something, and you were to paddle um, this way and go up past it in a kayak, what would you see? <laughs> what? Sorry? Yeah, that's an arrow, not a kayak. Do you want me to draw a kayak? There we go. That's my kayak. And there's a person in it. You get the idea. Um, this person going across the kayak, uh, and, and across ways here, would be going across massive peaks, or massive crops, so max points of maximum amplitude, interspersed with points of quiet or calm. So, yeah, it would be. If, um, if you were to uh, try and sail out from the center point or, or kayak out from the center point, your calm spot might be the best. So following the, the nodal line would be the easiest way for you. Maybe, I don't know. But, but that would make sense because it's the calmest. Sorry? <laughs> You guys have got to stop making your jokes so quiet. I can't laugh yeah. at them. Um, now, there are parallels, and I'm going to show you the one with the laser shortly, where uh, you can do this and shine the laser through two very thin slits, and you get the same interference pattern. But instead of getting peaks and troughs uh, like this, like maximum points, not troughs, and nodal lines, you get a bright and uh, what they call dark fringes. So you see a, a pattern, uh, let's just write this, if it was a laser, and uh, but you'd see patterns like this. Okay, with the, with the bright fringes are your um, constructive interference. And if you were to do this with sound waves, so if you had speakers, sound waves, um, you would hear uh, loud and soft. Okay, we're having issues again, so I might just. And we'll just let that render. Did I get that? Is it stopping? Is it ready? That doesn't stop. Oh, I had the wrong one. That's the wrong one once again. 